Hey guys, this is Colby. Today I'm going to show you how to texture your helmets and make it a little bit more realistic. How to add some basic colors. Uh, but I'm not really going to show how to go like super crazy with the colors because this is just a default like phase one helmet. But I'll still show how to do that. But let's, let's, let's get started. So starting off, I'm going to add a new texture to the helmets. And we're going to name it white. So plus, plus new. This is going to be the color for the most of the helmet. And I'm going to make it a slight bit darker. So that way we can add lighter edges. Because if it's already at its maximum brightness, like right here, then the edges won't be very highlighted and we can't really make the edges look better. So just make it slightly darker. So now we can actually go back to EV Engine. I had it on Workbench. Uh, you can go to Cycles or EV. I'm just going to choose EV because it's a little bit faster. Set, make sure to set it to a slightly darker shade of whites. And you can change the roughness to however much you want. Might leave it like a medium. It's like 0.35 or something. That looks good. So now, let's go ahead and go into edit mode. Let's select the helmets. And press L on it. And I'm going to assign the attachments. Basically, anything that's white, I'm just going to assign to the white texture. And the visor has its own texture, which is black. So we're just going to leave that alone. So we have it all at whites. Let's go ahead and select all of these. Press L on all of them. And press U in Smart UV Project. So now let's go ahead and go to the Texture Paint tab right here. It should already be here by default. If you haven't messed with any of this stuff, it should be here. And if you don't know how to add it, just click the plus sign, do general, and even texture paint. There we go. That's that. So essentially what the UV texture paint does, or the smart UV project, is it basically takes all of your faces and kind of lays them flat on like a plane. So that way you can texture them easier, like with an image and add colors. And it basically just... Uh, Makes it a lot easier to texture everything and a lot cleaner. There's a regular like unwrap, but Smart UV Project does a little bit better because it usually does like better shapes. It takes like curves into mine and everything. So let's go back into object mode. Or actually, we can go into texture mode, paint, texture paint mode instead. So right now it's all purple. That means it's basically missing the texture. So we need to add a new texture to it to the whites. So go to this wrench, the uh, toolbar, and click on the white one. Click a plus sign and press base color. So I'm going to set this to a pretty high resolution because it's going to be pretty detailed. It's for me like 456. It's a slightly darker white, like a grayish color. So there we go. So now I'm going to go into look dev mode or material preview. So that way we can see the colors a little bit better. The right now it's a very light shade. Can't really see it too much. If I was to like put a dot, you can't really see it too well. So we can make it a little bit darker. Also turn off the strength a tad bit. Not too much though, because you don't want it to be super noticeable. So at this stage, this is where you can add your like really strong, like bright colors, like a red or a blue, to like kind of make it a little bit more textured or detailed. Essentially, add like logos or something to the helmet. So it's basically in Star Wars, like there's battalions, and each battalion has a different kind of set of colors on each helmet. So it's usually white combined with like a red or yellow or blue. So like each battalion's different. So say like the shock battalion, it's like a red. So you want to turn the strength all the way up to zero, or one I mean, and set the red color to max. I'm going to undo that stroke I just did. Let's turn on symmetry. I'm going to go into front view just to make this a little bit cleaner and straightforward. You can essentially just add a red streak right down the middle. Let's go into top view. It's kind of hard to see, but it's adding it. Oh, there's other helmets above it, so I need to actually delete those real quick. 
because I, I was using these for like extra like if I actually messed up the main one I could come kind of go back I have backups so let's go back in texture paint mode and continue adding that red streak right down the middle let's add some maybe like on the cross the cheek maybe like right here So this is basically just showing how to add basic colors. Uh, I'm not actually going to add the reds, but I'm just showing this as an example. You can actually use any image reference you want and kind of like mimic the uh, texture pattern with basic colors. But anyways, I'm just going to go back to the white state and get rid of all this red because I'm not, I'm not going to really show how to do colors too advanced. So let's go ahead and shade this area right here, this entire section, like a darker gray. Turn down the strength of bits, or maybe extra to one. Set it's like a medium gray. And we can start coloring the shape. Make sure you have symmetry on, so that way it basically does it on the other side and makes it a lot easier. And I'm going to go back to my reference to kind of see what it's like on the back. So this cylinder is white, whereas the uh, section back here is actually gray. So just make sure to try to like keep it clean and not color on the cylinder. Just fill in around it. We'll do a little time lapse and I'll show you what it looks like in the process. See you here in a second. So if you make any mistakes and you kind of go over the uh, marked area and you want to undo it, you can press Ctrl Z to undo that little stroke. But if it's too far back for you to undo immediately, in the last step, then just select the uh, press S and set the color to like the whites. So S will basically take whatever color your mouse is at. Mouse is at. So the helmet is basically white. So I'm going to change this area to white. So it's basically like erasing by just replacing the color. So let's kind of clean this up a little bit. Just look at the areas that are slightly dark, too messy. Like this is a little messier here. Just clean this up. Just make sure it looks clean pretty all across. There we go. Now I'm ready to start adding some like weathering and like shading and dark spots to the helmets. So let's basically turn on the strength and set up to a darker gray. And just select random spots on the helmet. Just add little specks. You can make them as big, big as you want. Or you can skip the stage entirely if you want. Uh, if you don't want your helmet to be too dirty, you can just skip the stage. But I'm going to make it a little bit more detailed and nice looking. It's like a little bit tiny bit more realistic. Just add some slightly sh imperfect areas. And you can set it a little bit darker if you want. To make it slightly more noticeable in some spots. Just having like a mix of like shades of gray looks pretty nice. It's looking pretty good so far. There we go. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna actually change the roughness a tad bit of the helmets to make it a little bit more realistic looking. It's a little bit too shiny. So there we go. Looks a little bit better. So now I'm gonna add some slightly darker shades of black or grayish right around the 
basically like anything that's like sort of like a line or a crack anywhere. So shade this area slightly darker to make it a little bit more prominent. Maybe not too noticeable, just like a tad bit darker than the whites. Make the lines more noticeable. So one more part and it's pretty simple. This will be the last part of the video. You can start adding some scratches so you can make them slightly darker. Just add little streaks. Just like little straight lines and like cross them over a little bit if you want. And just add them wherever you want. So I, for this I'd recommend turning off symmetry so that way it's a bit more like asymmetric on each side. But basically all I'm doing is just drawing straight lines and then crossing them a little bit. Like a tic-tac-toe puzzle kind of just like at an angle just add these around the helmets so i'll see you here in a second So, if you feel like you've added too much details to your helmets, that's okay. Just uh, press S again, hold down S, and select the white. And you can undo some of the areas. So I'd recommend turning up the strength and just making these areas a bit softer and less noticeable. And just do this for like some of the areas, because I feel like I added a little bit too much detail across the entire helmet. It's pretty easy to do that. Uh, but, you know, just go around and just kind of like undo some of the changes. Some of the scratches, make them softer. Also, these dark spots are a little bit too noticeable, I think. And just go back and kind of fix some of your mistakes. Looks a little bit better. So, once you're done with all of your textures, and you say you're pretty much done with texturing everything, I'd say... Go ahead and go to your image on the uh, texture paint panel and press save all images. So that way you actually save all your progress. Because essentially you're just generating a texture that can be kind of like exported into a separate file outside of Blender for this specific model that you just made. That's it. So this is the last step of the video, but all I'm going to be doing is just adding some highlights to the edges. So set the strength to a really high number and set to basically like a white, very bright lights. And select all of your edges and just kind of drag along and add some streaks across the edges to make them a little bit more prominent. Alright guys, that's the end of this video. If you have any questions, just leave a comment down below and I'll try to answer them. And as the end of the video, just make sure to save your images and you can actually export your images. Once you're done, just press save as and name your image and save it to wherever you want. And so basically that means that you can transport it over to another game engine like Unity or something or Unreal. And that basically you have a texture for your object. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you guys next time.